Thank you. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta has ordered the National Land Commission to revoke the allocation of Kibarani dump site to a private developer. This coming only a day after the Parliamentary Committee on Environment and National Resources requested the Director of Public Prosecution to investigate those behind reclamation of Kibarani dump site and parts of the Indian Ocean. Tobias Chanji begins our bulletin tonight from Mombasa. Day two of a tour by the Parliamentary Committee to the Kibaran and Mwakirunge dump sites. Their calls to stop operations were not heeded to, as another huge chunk of solid waste had already been dumped and flattened in the shrinking waters. The committee described this as impunity of the highest order. We want to invite the Director of Public Prosecution and DCI to come and visit this site so that they can see high level collapse which is taking place here because and the level of impunity whatever is happening here because what we are witnessing is level of impunity the government agency orders have been ignored if the site a new site has already been found for relocation why then are we seeing the waste being dumped further into the ocean and that is our problem the National Assembly Committee on Environment has asked CS Keriako Tobiko to oversee the orders stopping the reclamation of riparian land at Kibarani dump site over what they said was massive corruption. As the committee of the National Assembly, we and by direct the concerned parties, be it the county government of Mombasa, or the people who have been given this responsibility, namely Mombasa cement to henceforth cease from spreading or pushing the solid waste into the sea. Therefore, this work should stop the mandatory. Na kwa sababu gani tunafanya hiyo? Ni kwa sababu sheria hairuhusu uh, watu kutumia takataka kujaza ardhi na kutengeneza makao ambayo uh, wanataka kutumia. Na pia tumeona ya kwamba sehemu nyingi wamefanya namna hii alafu baada ya muda kidogo unaona hapo mahali panatumika kwa kazi nyingine. Ndiyo. While touring the area on Sunday, the committee singled out two companies that were given reclamation licenses by two government agencies. The licenses which are however in contention by the Water Resources Management Authority Warma, one of the company's multiple holiers say they were given a go-ahead to reclaim 45 acres of land and has done about 20% so far. The other company is Makupa Transit Shed. The two companies and others have now been summoned by the committee. We have invited uh, multiple holiers and uh, Makupa uh, Causeway Transit Seeds uh, Limited. Mombasa Cement, uh, Kenya Marine Authority, Kenya Port Authority, to a meeting in Nairobi on 9th of August, so that and they will be able to be able to furnish the committee with all relevant documentations in terms of ownership of the purported uh, land, because we have been told some of them owns more than eight acres of the sea. UNESCO has warned that Mombasa won't be an island if the trend goes on. Only 100 meters of sea remains. Tobias Chanji, KT News, Mombasa County.